if you saw this vehicle at the end of last lego video you have a very good observation spirit hello lego fans and welcome back to another episode in my mini series where i present my lego mocks in this episode i will show you my prototype at building a rail slash road vehicle now the idea kind of came from when i bought the rail crossing for that uh, what the hell was it uh, railroad excavator that was with the uh, yellow cargo train and uh, red passenger train era uh, set era okay so i kind of wanted to do a vehicle that goes on rails and also on the road and I didn't really know how the hell should I start it, because, you know, uh, there's a technique that you should follow if you want this thing to work with, uh, of course, rails. And I kind of experimented. If you can see here on the front, I have this uh, tilt brick thingy. And same on the rear. But uh, it's really different from what uh, Lego used, because they used the ratcheted pieces, and I didn't have those uh, at the time, so I kind of improvised. Oh, sorry for the dust, but this was also in storage for at least four years. Anyhow, uh, so the chassis is kind of basic, like uh, plates and on top of them came these uh, axles with wheels and of course I had to attach these to uh, deployable axles or rail axles and of course I have a magnet the old styled ones at the end because why not it can pull uh, train cars or wagons why the hell not Okay, so uh, the front, I'd say it's a bit weird, it's like uh, the old style uh, cabs, but you see how this thing was built, I didn't have too much uh, space where to make a snotted, snotted uh, front part or headlights or anything. It was actually pretty hard to to fit the fenders with the whole body but this is what I came up with and that's why I need to leave this part empty because otherwise the wheels won't uh, be able to pull up enough so they don't touch the ground okay same thing on the back and uh, I had to add this magnet up, above of course, but it had to be at the exact height so it can couple with the wagons or train cars and uh, it isn't misaligned. As you can see here on the rear I used many uh, simple bricks and not like the pre whatever pieces that lego usually uses anyhow uh let me remove this top of the cap section oh looks like i uh didn't even couple this maybe i wanted to use one of those uh four by six by two plates uh high pieces and i didn't have them in stock so i uh improvised with these anyhow so the cab is really simple, I mean it has a windshield, let me break this one off, uh, yeah you know what actually not, so it has one minifig and uh, one steering wheel, keep it very simple, and uh, doors that can be opened and here you have steps, they are a bit misaligned to the cab not the easiest to climb in but what can you do you also have rear view mirrors and this minifig if I'm not mistaken uh, come on 
Of course it's a really old minifig, but I believe it is from a uh, bulk, uh, not quite set because there were a few sets, but uh, a guy on Rolug, oh sorry I don't remember his uh, username, so he was selling uh, his Lego collection. I bought the whole thing and it had like this uh, small case with a lot of minifigs. I believe this minifig is from uh, that one, that case. Two hours later. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the back of this vehicle. It's uh, kind of plain and empty because I didn't want to add too many details. Eh, maybe. I want to keep it somewhat simple. I have this uh, tailgate. I'm not really sure why I put this one, I kind of like how it looks. And uh, I'll be back, I'm back with a piece of track. If you deploy these wheels, it should lift the vehicle up just a bit so the rubber tires don't touch the rail too much. But if you push it forward, the rear axle kind of lifts just a bit. Uh, I presume this is why LEGO used the ratcheted pieces and not uh, the simple ones. But uh, besides the squeaking, it works. I mean, even though if you don't have the rail axles deployed all the way, it works on tracks. It kind of holds it in a uh, place for the curb. I'm not sure. Uh, if it works very well with the switch parts, but whatever. Maybe I will redo this sometime, but you know, I kind of like to keep the prototypes as a uh, good memory so I know where I need to improve. Anyhow, if you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like, comment whatever and as always have a nice day and m43 out